prophetic gifts in the last days. That's, 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 that means we are fighting the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. who remain with God's people and who is with, the, with them until the end. The last text I would like to read okay. is in Revelation chapter 1. Mm -hmm. And you know the book of Revelation can be counted as the fifth gospel of Jesus and also the book of prophecy. Because it's a revelation yeah. of Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Yeah. And at the same time to us it is, it is a prophetic book mm -hmm. like the book of Daniel. Mm -hmm. And how it come to us without a prophetic ministry it could have not been possible. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can see in verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. which God gave him mm -hmm. God gave Jesus Christ the revelation to his servants the church mm -hmm. what must take place he made it known by sending the angel mm -hmm. to his servant John. Mm. You see how it comes. Yes from from above. up, down. Mm -hmm. Here is God, here is ask. Mm -hmm. God has a book or this prophecy mm -hmm. to be delivered to us. Yes. He gave it to Jesus Christ, Jesus gave it to angel, mm -hmm. the angel to John. In this particular case. In this particular mm -hmm. case, we can see between angel and John, uh, and, and us, mm -hmm. the church or people of God, mm -hmm. there is a prophetic gift when it is needed. When it is needed. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Pastor. Can you please just summarize and give some kind of appeal or some kind of uh, instruction or whatever you, you have in your heart to the viewer at, for the last minute? Yeah, what I would like to, to share, I know that there are a lot of questions lingering in the mind of uh, believers about this topic. You might be having uh, a prophet in your mind whom you are still analyzing and uh, you are struggling to accept or reject. So the matter here is not about a person. It's, about, it's not only about a person, it's not only about a message. But we look at the whole issue by testing prophets with what we mentioned to be the major four tests, which include speaking according to God's will or according to what is written, living according to the will of God, having a message that should meet or should be in line with the plan of redemption, and finally, living according to the message or according to how you are called or how that prophet is called in that days. So my appeal to all of us is, let's study this book. Mm -hmm. Because there's, there's, no, there's no way you can make a conclusion mm. out of this. When we study this book, the conclusion becomes very simple. And we cannot deny the presence of the Holy Spirit That's with all these gifts. We can accept, and at the same time, we test the prophetic ministry. Thank you so much, Pastor Malik, for being with us and explaining, so nicely explaining this difficult topic. And you, dear viewer, Please look forward to another episode on the spirit of prophecy. I'm sure you will be enriched and your life will turn better for God and for others. Amen. God bless you. Amen.